something nasty. Yo guys, what's going on? PerXP here, and today we're going to talk about Black Ops 3 possibly having COD points and wager matches. So, first off, I'd like to say that either we're going to have one or the other because they both go hand in hand and we can't have both. So we're gonna, either going to have uh, COD points and wager matches or we're just going to have party games like in Black Ops 2. But I'm going to say the benefit of COD points and why they were fun and made the game fresh. Alright, so uh, COD points made a made a difference in Black Ops 1 because they allowed you to have more freedom like with what you got and, and it kind of got rid of getting to a certain level to get that perk you wanted or the equipment or that kill streak or whatever. So, so if you guys didn't know or never played Black Ops 1, basically perks, kill streaks, and equipment didn't have a level re requirement to get. You, you could buy them with however many with COD points if you had the right amount. So for perks, I think they were uh, 2,000 or, or 5,000 for each perk, and then to make them pro, it cost, costed like an extra two or three thousand. Now for score streaks, um, it, that d depended on on what number the score streak was, like three, five, seven. So like nine and eleven, which was chopper gunner and dogs, were obviously like four or five thousand cod points. And then for equipment, that <laughs> depended on how good it was. So like the claymore was five thousand. Camera spec and, C and C4 were 2,000, and then I believe the jammer was 3,000. But if I got any of those wrong, comment down below, guys. And also, the the, the last benefit of COD, COD points and what made fun of about Black Ops 1 was wager matches. So wager matches came in three different categories. Um, anti up which was like 10 COD points for the minor people. Uh, weekend Gambler, which was 1,000 COD points and the payout of 3,000 COD points if you won first place. And then Pro Gambler, which was a random given game mode, so you, so you couldn't select the game mode, and it costed 10,000 COD points to get in, but you also got 30,000 COD points if you won. So those are... So those aspects obviously made COD points fun and it kept the game fresh and it gave you more freedom in, in the game but in today's Call of Duties with the with there being no more pro perks and and score streaks and stuff like that I don't know if, if they would add in COD points but I hope they'd have some sort of betting in Black Ops 3 for like wager matches in some sort of, I want you to be able to wager something but yeah guys, so anyway, if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe for more future videos. We're almost at 650, so hopefully we could hit that pretty soon. And uh, I will be recording my own gameplay pretty soon again, because I'm ordering the parts today. But yeah guys, until next time, take care, and peace out.